Your Excellencies, Deputy Secretary General, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of the Secretary General, first of all, I would like to extend my condolences also to the community of the Philippines with regard to the recent uh, disaster that um, they've suffered in relation to the uh, typhoon. Tomorrow is October 21st and will give us an opportunity to reflect on what we thought the future might hold when portrayed through the eyes of a Michael J. Fox when he starred in the Hollywood movie Back to the Future. He dreamt of flying cars. Uh, he dreamt of self-tying shoes and hoverboards. Not all of these dreams have become a reality, but some have. However, we can also reflect back five years this month to the 28th of October 2010, to a meeting in Hanoi when leaders from the ASEAN countries came together to formulate a master plan to better connect ASEAN, born out of the dreams of its community. The community dreamt that by 2015, they would have improved transport infrastructure to open access to remote towns and bring development and tourists to their communities. An ability to transport cargoes from point A to B in the region seamlessly and safely. That when traveling to any destination in the ASEAN region, it should be a breeze with relaxed visa regimes. These are just some of the dreams that members of your community expected by 2015, when ASEAN sought to achieve its goals of enhancing intra-ASEAN connectivity as envisaged in the master plan. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, congratulations. As many of these dreams have become a reality, you aimed high and set ambitious targets. The ASEAN community called for a well-connected region that will build a more competitive and resilient ASEAN when it converges peoples, goods, services and capitals. A better connected region is key to achieve the ASEAN community as it reinforces the centrality of ASEAN, accelerates the community building process and integration efforts and intensifies its relations with external partners. However, international terror and organised crime risks have changed significantly over the past five years since your ASEAN dreams were formulated. The realisation of your community needs for interconnectivity and freedom of movement are testing your transportation hubs, their policing and security capabilities in new and challenging ways. You've realised expectations and demands are high from your community to go further and faster in a safe and secure way to help ASEAN community expand. So it's pleasing to see community leaders reach out to Interpol to assist them as a key strategic partner. To build upon the realisation of these dreams in 2015 and enhance them through better institutional interconnectivity and people-to-people -people interaction. Through our global border management programme, led by our integrated border management task force, based in the Interpol Global complex for innovation in Singapore, they will, over the next three years, lead and deliver new innovative policing capabilities to enhance the dreams of the region and bring to a reality safer regional border security capabilities. Working with you all, we can deliver a community that has one vision, one identity, and importantly, one safe and interconnected community. Thank you for your attention, and I wish my team and you all, as our partners, every success as we make these new dreams into a reality. Thank you very much.